Yo guys, how's it going? AK Motor here. We're out here on the 125 and today I thought I'd bring you guys a quick jetting video. We're going to be getting this bike dialed in with some jetting and I'm going to take you guys through my little process of how I keep my 125 jetted all good. Now this is just personally how I do it. I've had this bike for like four years now. It's a 2018 and it's 2022. So I've had this bike probably over four years now. And in that time, I've gotten lots of riding time, seat time, and uh, there's plenty of time to kind of get to know how this bike likes to be jetted. Um, so I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to jet a dirt bike, basically, you know, kind of my method. And I do things a little bit differently than most people would. So uh, let's get right into this. Now, I get most of my jetting kind of, I know where I'm at by feel. Um, you can take out spark plugs, chop spark plugs, do all that if you really want to get your jetting perfect. Um, but in my experience, for me, my weather varies too much. I live in South Central Texas and it's like 100 degrees out. Uh, maybe not yet, but it will be in like an hour or two. Uh, so in the winter and the summer, our temperatures can va vary pretty vastly. Um, so generally, I'm not taking out spark plugs and chopping spark plugs and doing all that stuff just to get my jetting perfect because by next season, it's already you know in need of some adjustment. Um, so I generally do most of my jetting just off of feel because I know this bike pretty well and uh, there are quite a lot of kind of cues and uh, sounds you guys can hear that'll give you good indicators of jetting. Um, I know this bike is already set up pretty good on the main. If anything, it might be a tiny bit uh, lean on the main, but I know this thing's running fat on the pilot, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how I know that. And uh, right now we're actually out here on the trails, perfect place to test out our pilot jet because we're gonna be in the low RPM of this bike. Um, now, generally, I only mess with the main and pilot jet because I find those to be the you know biggest changers, the two jets that make the biggest difference. You can mess with the needle, you can mess with the pilot air screw if you want to, but I generally leave those where they're at, just from the factory setting. And I mess with the main and pilot jet, and that gets me really dang close on my jetting. Uh, so here we're gonna do, do some testing with our pilot jet. Pilot jet is generally off of idle to kind of, you know, just off of idle, kind of lower RPM. That's how I think about it. And then the main jets kind of half to full throttle, just higher RPM in general uh, so let's go ride and then of course we're here on some trails so we're gonna be testing the pilot jet and uh, let's get right to it oh, we're in gear right off the bat you guys hear how it's running how it's running yeah i just started it up but take a good listen to the bike now just to kind of give you guys a quick little peek at where the main's at. Main's running good, a little bit smoke because I just started this thing up. Not sitting for a minute. But here we're mostly testing the pilot jet again because we're going to be low RPM. Now you guys will probably notice a little bit of a gargling sound. Almost like this bike is like has the choke on. That kind of gives us a sign that this bike's running a little bit rich down low. You guys will hear it the most when I really get into some technical spots here. Has no problems getting up in the high ends of the RPM. So the main is looking great. We're not loaded up with oil or anything. Bike's pretty much up to temp. You guys can hear how clear it runs up in the high RPM, up in the main jet territory. But when we're real down low, bogging it around, it's a little gargly, a little rich. Generally, your symptoms of running rich will be that gargling sound on these two strokes. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, couldn't make up my mind. Here, uh, I'll do some little pulls, really get on the gas. So you guys can hear where the main jet's at. Again, generally have to have to full throttle, I believe, somewhere in that range. So yeah, you guys just heard that. Thing runs dang perfect on the main. But when I get back down to that pilot jet, you can hear it's not terrible. Two strokes will make that gargling sound at low RPM. But I know for a fact this one's running a little rich. Now there are a lot of factors that'll influence your jetting. Your outside air temp, 
it's gonna get pretty hot today because I live in South Central Texas. It gets pretty hot here. I think I've already said that, I don't know. But it gets pretty hot here and it's the summertime. So we're gonna need to dress this like leaner because the air's hotter, it's less dense. In the winter, we're gonna need to dress this like richer because the air's more dense. So the bike will need more fuel to compensate for this change in air temp. So air temp is a really big influence on these two strokes. Elevation is a really big influence. I live near sea level. And then the type of fuel you're running is also a big influence as well. I'm running C12 race gas. And this gas, just by nature, likes to be jetted a little bit leaner than some 93 pump gas. So if you're running race gas, just keep that in mind as well. Do some research on the forum and uh, contact the manufacturer your race gas. A lot of the times they can give you good suggestions on where you want your jetting to be. So yeah, I already know this thing's running a little rich on this pilot you can hear. It's a little gargly. Generally when you're running rich, the bike will just kind of feel lazy. Let's go put a leaner pilot in this thing. Right, guys so i got a uh one step leaner main so i went from a 40 um sorry one step leaner pilot went from a 40 to a 37.5 pretty small step but we're gonna test it out here and i actually went from a 415 to a 420 main so i richened up the main leaned out the pilot a little bit um, very very small steps in both directions for the pilot and the main so very small changes but uh now we're gonna take it out on the trail test out this main or sorry test out this pilot jet and a little bit of the main jet so uh let's go rip Super easy to jet these two strokes. I feel like a lot of people make it out to be harder than it is. You literally just gotta loosen up the two uh, clamping boots, the uh, intake boot and the, uh, well, like the reed valve boot. You rotate the carburetor and uh, take out the little access plug in the bottom. I'll try and put some pictures if I can. It's super easy, guys. Already just respond to the throttle. It feels lighter. The pilot, basically. What we'll notice by leaning out the pilot is the bike will want to climb out of those kind of low RPMs a little bit quicker. It'll have like a lighter feeling if that makes any sense. I just started this thing so it needs to warm up a little bit. Still got a little bit of gargling but... Oh yeah. That definitely helped a lot. So just kind of whacking the gas, it's just a lot more responsive basically. Best way I can describe it when it was running rich is it felt lazy, it felt tired. Now it's a lot more responsive when I whack the gas. Bike just carries me forward without really any hesitation. Now I wasn't running so rich before that it was hesitating but... I can already feel the pilot circuit running a lot better. A lot more responsive to the gas. Climbs the RPMs a little easier. Still have a little bit of that low end gargling. But with how responsive it's being at the gas right now, you know, we're really not gonna change any of that. Unless we go really, really lean. And one thing you guys wanna know about running lean is you can make a little bit more power when you are running slightly lean, but you can also blow up engines running lean. If you're running a bike too rich, generally that's actually seen as a, well, just slightly rich is seen as good for the motor. It'll get cooler operating temps when you're running a little rich. 
versus when you're running slightly lean. Now, either side of the extremes is bad, running really rich and running really lean. If your bike's bogging at any point at the RPM, you're having issues, and uh, that's a little bit more on the extreme side of bad jetting. But just from a slightly richer or slightly leaner tuning perspective, like within safe margin, you'll make more power running a little bit leaner, you'll have better response, your bike will run a little cleaner. But running rich is safer for the motor long term, you'll make less power. Uh, but you'll have cooler operating temperatures. Up, oh, bike died. So yeah, if you guys uh, really are new to jetting, I'd recommend leaving it a little bit on the fatter, richer side. Um, if you you know already have a good feel for jetting, you know going slightly leaner can give you some better power, better throttle response. But you want to be really careful with running your bike lean. Um, now running lean, you'll hear like a ring, ding, 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 like a really dingy sound. I'm not gonna lean this bike out like crazy just for an example. Um, but basically running a lean bike, basically you'll give it a little bit of gas. I'm saying basically a ton, but you'll give it a little bit of gas, but the bike will shoot up in RPM. So like maybe this much gas, instead of going run, it'll go ring, ding, 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 and it'll take a long time to idle back down. That means you're running very, very lean. Versus when you're running rich, I'll give it gas, raw, 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 and it will feel lazy. That's basically the best way I can explain it in terms of sound and throttle response when you're running lean or just ever so slightly leaner, your bike will be really responsive. When you're running rich, it'll feel lazy. Um, now, of course, again, you don't want to be on the extremes of either end. Generally, though, if you're running a little rich, you're more on the safer side. Better for the long-term health of your engine. Um, but again, running a little bit lean, that's where these, especially these two strokes, that's where they run best. That's where they make their most the most amount of power. And you're really not going to hurt them, uh, assuming you're not overheating them like crazy or anything or you know, doing anything really extreme. So don't be afraid to mess with your jetting. But also keep in mind, if you're like really venturing far from your stock sizes, you really want to be careful because I believe stock sizes for this bike are 430 main and a 40 pilot. And I have a 37.5 pilot and a 420 main. So those really aren't big jumps. Those are very, very slight adjustments off of what comes in the bike stock. That's what you want to see with jetting. Uh, now I live in Texas, it's very hot. I could probably lean it out a little bit more, but honestly, even if it's running slightly rich, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the throttle response change I just got. And most of it's gonna have to be me telling you guys because it's gonna be probably kind of hard to tell on camera. But here we're gonna go right around a little bit more and uh, just kind of, so you guys can kind of hear the RPM of this bike. Again, it still has a little bit of that low end gargle, but that's kind of, you know, I don't want to lean this thing out so much that it cleans that up. That's, you know, that doesn't bother me. It's not gonna affect me for motocross riding, but definitely a little bit more throttle response and just wants to pick up a little quicker. And uh, yeah, uh, let's get back to riding. Again, I went a little bit richer on the main because um, I felt like I definitely could have gone a little bit richer. I didn't have to, but uh, because I am leaning out the pilot jet ever so slightly, it is going to affect the main jet, uh, if that makes any sense. So uh, yeah, I'll look up a jetting chart and I'll put it on the screen, but your pilot jet is going to affect your main jet a little bit. Um, generally, your main jet doesn't affect your pilot jet too much. Um, but yeah, let's go. Uh, let's get some more riding in so you guys can kind of hear this engine a little more. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. Again, I went from a 415 to a 420, very small step for your main jet, uh, slightly richer. Uh, higher numbers are generally richer, and then they're always richer. And then the pilot jet, I went from a 40, which I believe is stock, to a 37.5. Again, another small change, but ideally that's what you wanna make, just a bunch of small changes. Oh yeah. Just like at that initial whack of the throttle, this bike just carries itself so much better now. I'm not going to call this bike perfectly chatted, but it's pretty dang good. Still got lots of pull up top. <laughs> now let's do some main jet testing. This is where we're going to be a little more wide open you'll notice pilot jet kind of imperfections if you want to you'll notice your pilot jet because when you're just kind of lugging around it's pretty easy to tell if you're running a little too fat or a little too lean generally on the main though you want to be careful on the main you want to be careful because oh, there is a bump 
when you're wide open you might not always be able to tell if it's running a little too lean or rich. That's why I say always make small changes and see how that reacts. Oh yeah, man, it's great. It's a tiny bit richer. And again, with this hot weather, I'm still probably better just a tiny bit rich. But honestly, I'm totally fine with that. I'd rather be a little bit richer than a little bit leaner. Again, though, like it doesn't hurt to go a little lean, doesn't hurt to go a tiny bit rich. It's just the extremes on both sides is what you want to avoid. Let's go spin a lap on the main track and uh, really get a feel for how this thing is fitted as a whole. Not just in one throttle range, but the whole entire RPM range. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 